Do you purposely tune out all the hype and garbage talk and all the stuff that goes on around you as much as you can? I mean, it's just it's old. I've been in this game a long time. And, and don't get me wrong, I can talk I can talk smack with the best of them. It's not that I don't have anything to say. It's just that I come from an old school mentality. You know what I'm saying? And it's more about action with me. You know, I feel like I say what I need to say when I need to say it. And, you know, because I don't do a lot of talking, I feel like when I do speak, maybe you guys want to listen. But if I'm on every website every week saying the same thing over and over, it starts to get a little mundane. You know what I mean? So I just try to speak when I need to speak and um, make sure that when I say something, it's meaningful. And then go try to back it up. Because it's in the boxing right now, it's a lot of talk. It's a lot of people trying to be Floyd, and I get it. He's a, he's a big, you know, inspiration to a lot of young guys coming up. But it's more talk. It's a lot of it's a lot of we call it bumping gums where I come from, but not a lot of action. And then when a guy doesn't perform and do what he said he was gonna do, nobody calls him out on it. And then he goes, you know, oh, you know, he makes an excuse for it, and he starts talking again. So I just try to keep it simple. You know, I'm about action. I'm about action. What about, Andre, what about Andre? What about Kovalov? seemingly being annoyed that you didn't acknowledge him at the press conference. Was it, he, I mean, what happened there? Tell me, was there anything going to work did he that make? out within himself. I mean, okay. I, can't, I can't speak on how, you know, him getting emotional or feeling some type of way about anything. You know, I don't, I don't have to do anything. We're not cool. Um, he's preparing right now to try to hurt me. And, 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 and I'm preparing to not let that happen. So, um, yeah, there's nothing to talk about. Why shake hands for what? You think you might be in his head a little bit? I don't know. I guess. I don't know. I really don't, honestly don't think about it that much. I, I don't, you know. And really, I think, I don't, I don't know if that was him that made the comment or his coach mm -hmm. that made the comment, but, you know, they used to guys paying homage and, 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 and giving him too much respect before the fight, and we don't get down like that. We don't get down like that. How do you feel about, about John David Jackson's trainer admitting that he may have underestimated you now that he started watching you actually? I'm really not. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I, I, would, I, I give John David uh, <laughs> the respect for his career. Um, I think he was a champion, right? Yeah. IBF? Yeah. Okay. IBF champion. I respect that. And I pay homage to that. Um, but in terms of like, man, I'm not paying attention to, to John David Jackson. I get wind of what he's saying. I get the overflow. You know, I got my ear to what's going on. But come on, man. You got to do way better than that if you think that anything you're saying is going to get in our head or have us worried or preparing any differently. Like, he's really spinning his wheels. He's wasting his time. It's literally impossible for him to say anything to get into our heads. But see, what happens is, you talk so much that you start to show your hand. And he's been over here, he's been back over here, back over there, and we just sit back and we just watch him. Hmm, okay. So this week is this, that week is that. But what he doesn't realize is, is he's being used and manipulated. Any writer, any website, any, any radio station that calls him, he starts talking. And him being a former fighter, he should know better than that. He should know better than that. So I just sit back and I watch and I observe. Now I, as far as him like trying to, come on man. First, you, first Kovalev was gonna kill us. Ward made a mistake to sign it. Then, he's better than I thought. Come on man, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> you have to. So that's my message to him, if I have any message. You have to do better than that. This level of uh, boxing, what does it take to win a, a fight like of this magnitude? Does it, you think it takes more skill level, strategy, athleticism, blah, 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 blah? Like, what, what you think it really takes coming from Andre Ward and your experiences? It's gonna take, it's gonna take everything. You know, it takes a little bit of everything. It's so much, as you know, because you fight. It's so much that goes on in the boxing ring that, that people don't even know. Uh, I'm gonna report it today. I got you. <laughs> War, I'm gonna say, you clean up this. Real quick. There's so much that goes on in the boxing ring that people don't know. Uh, it's not just one thing, it's a million things going on. It's ebbs and flows going on. Um, it's gonna boil down to 
you know, who wants it more. It's going to boil down to who's executing the game plan under pressure. It's going to boil down to who's in the best shape. It's going to boil down to a lot of things. Agreed. Yeah, to a lot of things. Not, I can't point out one thing or two things. It's going to be a lot that boils down to getting this fight won. And I just feel like that I want it more. That's just my opinion. And, and I'm sure he feels the same way. So um, I'm going to be ready.